Good morning, folks. We've got a little bit of space weather, a shot at astrophysics, one of the oddest publications I've ever seen, and there'll be more coming on yesterday's top story. But we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun was relatively quiet. Minor filament release didn't make it out of the corona. Central coronal hole is twisted and abnormally shaped, but its solar wind should be arriving over the weekend. The sunspot situation is becoming less littered. Small spots fading as we are left with just the two on the north. Gorgeous shot of those in neutral iron returns from SDOHMI, more aesthetically pleasing than scientifically helpful. Anyway, let's start with cosmologists in the articles, working with black holes and, no folks, it's never going to get old watching them come to conclusions like this. 50 to 70% of the field is now a chorus of back to the drawing board. Good one up next for both solar forcing of terrestrial atmospheres and the technological situation. The longer the pressure pulse and magnetic pulse to the global field from the solar wind, the longer the ionospheric delay. Note, longer does not necessarily mean stronger. In an excellent paper here on fluid injection and earthquakes, they accidentally confirm a number of the electroquake principles that are not yet fully mainstream, including the motion of fluid, and the electrokinetic effect in the rocks beneath our feet. And last but not least, folks, yeah, this paper went the full marathon, pulling every global record they could of terrorism and extreme aggression, and found unequivocally that the sun and geomagnetic activity amplify the negative social interactions in focus here. Everything from the detailed studies we've shown you on emotional instability, cognitive reduction, and more during solar events comes to mind, along with Chan Thomas's description of mice studied in extreme magnetic conditions when they started killing and eating each other. And yes, by the way, 9-11 and every major terrorist incident any of you are going to ask about, it's on the correlation curve. This was September 2001, big flares, big solar wind, and big geomagnetic disruptions. Last note, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, you missed a huge discovery in catastrophism. Just a few minutes after this show posts to YouTube, we'll be uploading a deeper look episode detailing a bit more about the importance of the dusty solar F corona and what it means for the solar micronova. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, that deeper look episode will be for website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.